morning. Happy Tuesday. What? It is another day. We are alive. You can talk, you can taste, you can see, you can hear, you can smell, you can touch, sweetie. The Lord has blessed us to wake up this morning. You know what I'm saying? So, happy Tuesday. Uh, so, I'm getting ready to run some errands. So, right now, I usually don't do my hair before I do errands, but today I got a little time. I don't have to be nowhere, like, at a set time. So, I can actually, like, do my hair. So, I've already showered, brushed my teeth, washed my face. Um, I did not get to take my vitamins and stuff this morning because I don't have any bottled waters. That's the reason I need to run some errands. <laughs> I gotta get, you know, groceries. Oh, I also um, get my wig today. So I ordered a Love Me wig. It's like an Afro kinky curly wig. It's like a 13 by four HD lace, which I'm really nervous about because I haven't worn like a frontal in a long time. I usually only wear closures. So, sweetie, it's gonna be an experience for both of us. But I'm pretty confident that I can do it because I can do everything else. So, you know. We gonna see. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna run a few errands today. I'm gonna try to keep y'all with me because, I mean, shit, why the bug not? See, y'all gotta stop cussing. I gotta stop cussing. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna check back in after I do my hair. Okay, y'all, so I told y'all I was getting my lace front today. So I'm actually doing some research online about um, the best adhesive for lace front wigs. So I'm actually on YouTube right now I'm trying to get some info, see these videos, and see what happens. I told you guys when it came to the comparison of both of these cans, and the reason I picked up the red can is because both- I am about to head out. This is my little outfit of the day. I got my little Crocs on. I got these pants from Shein. This bodysuit is from Forever 21. This is very old. Um, probably don't have it anymore. Um, also, this bag is from Coach. I got this from my ex-baby daddy <laughs> on my B-Day. Just a cute little bag. You know, all black. Can't go wrong with all black, sweetie. A little cheek for you. And that's it. So we finna grab our keys and go, honey. Just a few little errands. Oh, I look snatched. Oh, my little hair curl. Period. So it's actually very nice outside today. It's like maybe like 60 something degrees. It feels really nice. It's not really sunny though. But that's cool because the sun be making stuff hot. You feel me? So, first things first, I'm gonna pick up my wig. Actually, I need to be getting my nails done, but I don't think I'm gonna do that today because I'm gonna be fooling with that wig. I take my hair down, wash my hair, and then I'll, you know, do the wig probably tomorrow or something. So, I'll probably wait till later this week to get my nails done. And I still have the nail at home, so I really could just like glue it back on and just leave it because everything else look good. I just need to pop that back on. So right now I'm finna go to the hair store, get some adhesive, go pick up my wig. I might go to Sephora. Um, I bought this Patrick Star, the one size powder. I mean, it was a good powder, but I feel like it was overhyped. You know, the old one swipe and it cover everything. I feel like Studio Fix powder does the same thing. So I'm probably just take it back because I don't really need it. So, let's go. By the way, if I'm driving and you're walking across the street, go ahead and hurry up because it's still an accident until I leave the scene. Why are you taking your sweet time? All right, so I done pulled up to my favorite beauty supply store in H-Town, EJ Beauty, period, because they got all this shit. And watch when I go in there. If the man is here, if the owner here, he gonna say, hey friend, oh, long time no see, how you doing? Watch. I hear y'all. So I seen this on Instagram, uh, t YouTube. This is the one I seen on YouTube. I said I'm going to get me. I was only $8, y'all. Let me read the difference between the East. This one says it's 20 times the whole. So that might be a good look. Why is it being blurry like that? So this one is 20 times the whole. 10 times the whole sensitive, oh, for sensitive skin. 
and that's the original so i seen this one online i'm gonna get this one I also need some, oh, I also need some, child and got caught up. I also need some wig caps. See, I don't be doing a ball cap method, so I usually just get, like, a brown like this. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this little brown. And this brown. Okay, so I was looking for that do curl mousse. But they don't have it here, so I might have to go to Walmart or Target. Um, but I didn't go down out of house, so let me double check. It might be over here or over there. Over here. Oh, here. It's giving a no. It's giving a no. So I'll have to try somewhere else for that. So I've been wearing these lashes lately. I think I have these I really like. And then these. Um, are really cool. I had another pair, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, this is definitely where I get all my hoops from because they all be a motherfucking dollar, bitch. And they all be a dollar, but of course, I get the biggest ones. And they don't really have the biggest ones. I usually get the biggest ones. And these ain't the biggest ones. But they the biggest gold ones they have right now, so. And y'all, I just thought of something like, why the hell do you, do you have to pay to file your own tax? Like, why TurboTax? Why do I have to pay you to use TurboTax when I use y'all every year? So, why is being a adult so ghetto? Okay, y'all, so I have made it to my favorite strip mall, so. Obviously, I'm going to Sally's to see if I can find that new curl mousse. But you have Marshalls, Ross, um, also down there, Shoe Carnival, and Five Below. First of all, go to all of those all the time. And I feel like I can't come to the shopping area without going to those. So I'm probably going to stop there too. I don't need a motherfucking thing, but I may stop there anyway. So I'm going to work here. We go to Sally's. It should be over here in this area because this is all. The black hair care, but I do not see that special bottle, sweetie. I do not see it. They said Walmart had it, so I might just have to go to Walmart, but I was already over here, so yeah. I don't need to see it. That is so ghetto. Right when I said I didn't see it, boom. sugar cookies i don't care but i've been coming here they haven't been having it lately so we're gonna see what's really going on i think they stopped selling this y'all because this shit used to be lined up with pink swirl and it is not nice. it's not nice. a motherfucking thing up here i don't even see it y'all i'm sad it's so ghetto Y'all can't hear that. Why my feet sounding like this? It's probably like SpongeBob what he had on them damn boots. Listen, sweetie, if I don't do nothing else, I'm gonna find a candle. These smell really good. I have another one, but I can't fit it in my hand and hold the phone at the same time, so. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm over here trying to wipe the white stuff off my lips. Man. They used to tear my ass up in middle school. I told me I had DSLs. First of all, why do y'all know what that means? And why y'all saying that to me? I'm a little good, little chunky little girl. I don't be doing none of that. I used to have it the worst in middle school. I'll never forget. I would never forget. I was walking to me and my mama to pick me up at the school, right? And this boy yelled out, she got booty do. He was like, I was like, what? He was like, your stomach stick out farther than your booty do. 
that was like one of the most traumatizing middle school moments. I've had a lot because I was not cute back then. I was a little, I was, now that I look back, I wasn't like fat, but I was definitely chunky, but they used to light my ass up. But the, the funny thing about it was years later in high school, that's the same thing I was trying to get on. Boy, ah, no, see ya. Forget you and your mama. Hell no, I'm good. No thanks, love. Enjoy. Because remember, I got booty do. Stupid. Anyways, and I was on with enough for to go get my wig out. I really do not want to be let down. I really hope this wig is like it is advertised, like I've seen on um, YouTube. Because if it's not, I'm gonna have an attitude because this wig was not cheap, sweetie. Okay? Well, we're gonna go pick it up. We're gonna see. So we at the CVS, sweetie. This is where I got my packages because UPS can't seem to get in the pocket at my apartment. So, give me a little drinky drink. I'm thirsty. Um, I want to buy them a water, but they do not have the flavor I like to get, so it's going to be a no. Uh, maybe I'll just do Sprite. Mm -hmm. Just do a Sprite. Fun fact, Sprite is my favorite soda. You ever want to buy me some? Thanks. Why is Sprite so strong? Like I just drank a sip in immediate chest pains. Immediately felt like my heart was gonna bust out of my chest. What is the, Sprite, what's in there? What's in here? Because ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. And I bought me some chips from Ross, y'all. Anything chili lime flavor I may eat. And Ross be having a bad snack. They are pop gourmet kettle chips, chili lime. So I'm about to tear into these. Hopefully they good, because sometimes, you know, I don't, I don't know. Um, absolutely love. 10 out of 10. Five star. Would definitely recommend, because. Sweetie, they're, they're lined, they're tangy. We got the chili for a little razzle dazzle, sweetie. Mm. I'm sure I got two bags. Okay. You guys, these chips are absolutely amazing. Like, do y'all got a website like a one off of the. Oh my God. I ain't even eating chips, but. Bruh. These are good. Oh, chips so good. I got remnants all around my mouth. So now I got a few more stops to make. I'm finna go to my hookah plug. Get some more shisha. I know I said I was going on a hookah fast, but sometimes I don't be telling the truth, but I don't be lying on purpose. It's really, I thought that I was gonna do it, but then it was like, mm, you know, because I, it was giving me headaches, but then I smoked the other day and it didn't give me a headache. But maybe that's because I took two a leave. Not quite sure, but girl, sweetie. Anyways, I'm finna show y'all my hookah plugs. So if you smoke hookah, you need a new hookah, you need some shit. Why? Whatever. Y'all saw me eat them chips. I'm about to put you on. And honestly, y'all, we probably would have been there already because it's really, it's literally down there where the little red hood is. And uh, we really could have been there already but Houston roads are so ghetto that everything needs to be fixed so honestly I mean we don't have far to go but seeing as it's down to one lane you know you're never gonna get there guys we made it we made it we made it yes So, we finally made it. So this place is called Argilla, Argilla. The name is at the end there, in that uh, little, right there. So the name is Argilla, Argilla. This is where I come and get my hook and my sheets, y'all. All right, y'all, so we made it. We made it, we made it, we made it. We made it, we made it, we made it. We made it, we made it, we made it. We made it, we made it, we made it. We made it, we made it,
right, you guys. We got everything for the love. Everything. Hi. Excuse me. Five for ten, three, two, one. Oh no, 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 Okay, so they got the mouth tips and like disposable hoses or you know whatever, whatever you need really honestly. Oh, that's cute. Guys, my last and final stop. We had good old Wally World, you know the vibes. So I'm only supposed to be getting water and meat and vegetables, but we are gonna see, hopefully I do a good job in here. Cause Walmart just bring the worst out of me. I know people be like, oh my God, Target, but I don't get it, I like the Walmart, okay? Okay, so y'all in here getting my produce and you gotta have some lemons and some limes. I use my limes for my uh, chlorophyll water in the morning. Just give it a little taste. Okay, and I got my oranges. These are car oranges. They are so good and sweet, but they don't have no seeds, so I don't think they're real, but I'm going to eat them anyway. And if you know me, you know I love a good flower arrangement in my apartment. It just makes me feel like a hot girl. Make me feel a little bougie. But I don't really see nothing I like. I usually try to get like pink or purple because it goes with my decor. But these kind of look old. These look a little old. Okay, guys. I think I got everything that I need. I didn't go crazy. I hate the fact that these are like $10 because why are y'all $10? Alright, let's go. So, this is the ghetto part. Me having to put all of this stuff in here by myself because where am I man at? Okay? You know, most of the time I don't mind being single, but when it comes to bringing in the groceries, please give me a man now because this is so ghetto. My big ass out of breath. Let me put these groceries away, okay? All right, y'all. So, excuse my kitchen. It's very dirty. Um, I have not cleaned. I haven't really been home in a few days. I've been working, and I've been out here in these streets. So, it's actually time to change my flowers. As you can see, they're dead. <laughs> dead AF. And also, the water is very disgusting. So, I got me some new flowers today from Walmart. Oh, and don't look at my booty go. It's kind of big, but it's kind of little. It just depends. Because sometimes it, look, it be looking fat, and sometimes it don't. Anyways, so I be getting my flowers from Walmart. I mean, Walmart, they got an okay selection. It does what I need it to do, sweetie. So, let's come on over here. So, my flowers out. I, fun fact, I really love flowers. Um, I've only received them like once from like somebody else or somebody like dating. Isn't that crazy? A bitch is 30 years old and literally received flowers from a male one time. It's so crazy. But I think they're so pretty. I like to get ones that match my apartment because my apartment decor is like pink and white and gray and silver and gold. Just the basic girl apartment. So I think it's fun. Ah, Y'all must come out down now. Oh my gosh. So it was definitely time to change it. You see it, it was dead. It was very dead. And that water was getting off very much cloudy, okay? So I have two different bouquets, so I'm just going to arrange them so they're kind of like mixed and matched. I'm gonna go ahead and cut, oh, oh my gosh. Well, y'all, pull them on Walmart. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut, I'm gonna cut them pretty low because my base is kind of, uh, you know, I don't want it to be hanging out the base. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then after that, I think I might just chill a little bit. I don't know why I be feeling like after I come home from the store or like running errands, I just feel like so fucking tired. Like I just had a long day. And I think that's okay for me to feel like that because I deserve a nap. I deserve a nap. Okay, so I almost lay down, but I forgot about my wig, y'all. I forgot to do my unboxing, so it's in a package. I ain't opened it yet. We all seen it the first time together. Okay, the box is very cute. It's giving purple rain. So I really hope this is the right company. Uh, so on the front, it has a little cute little purple bow. It says, love me hair. I really hope this is the right wig from the right company because I heard some horror stories and I'm like, I had already ordered it before I like looked more in depth into it. So we gonna see. All right, so in the box is of course the hair in, a, in this cute little bag. You can keep your wig in here, sweetie. Zip it up and throw it under the sink because that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, it comes with a $5 gift card. Enjoy your hair journey from now on. Come on, Helena, period, sis, thank you. Uh, and then this little bag here, let's see what they got in here. Oh, hold on. So in this little bag, they give you, oh, they give you a wrap to lay your edges down. And then they give you two headbands cute um they also give you some bobby pins a wig cap well two wig caps that are the lighter color so you can do your ball cap method and then this little uh, this little love me here you know just card insert so it tells you how to return it about refunds um how to take care of the hair how to wear it, and then frequently asked questions are inside. But baby, forget all this. We just gonna toss that back in because I'm trying to get to this wig, okay? I ordered this. I want to say it was either late Thursday night or late Friday night. Not quite sure I can get the right correct info. But anyways, bitch, I ordered it. Like, I literally was just like laying in bed. And I was like, oh my God, this look cute. So I did like watch a few videos and then I just ordered it. It came pretty fast. So... Yeah, I got it today. Oh, looking cute. So I got a, oh, we got the band in the back. Y'all better come on here, period. So I ordered a 22 inch and this is their glueless, I'm sorry, glueless lace wig. Um, so it has the adjustable combs on the sides, in the middle, and then in the back in the middle. It also has the adjustable straps down here, but also, Sweetie, they gave me a band so it could be truly glueless. Love that. Um, I, I believe this is their H HD lace. I've never had HD lace, um, but it looks pretty. It looks pretty good. I rarely wear frontals. You know, your girl's a closure girl, so it's gonna be a little different. But we gonna do it. Um, the curls feel nice. Um, it doesn't feel. It feel really full. I don't think I'll have a problem with. Um, it feeling thin or anything like that um it does feel really nice of course it is the natural color so it's almost like a number two you know um but i'm very excited about this okay sweetie i just want to pop it on but baby i'm gonna be cute i'm gonna be cute this this a lot of hair though at first i was worried that it was not gonna be a lot of hair i was like oh it's gonna be thin but i paid 2.99 for the hair $300 for the hair. Um, but that was with a hundred dollar discount. So originally, originally $400, sweetie. So I'm very excited about this. So now I have to take this quick weave out of my head. I went and bought some products for the hair. As you can, as y'all saw earlier, I went and bought some products for the hair and I found that do mousse. I found it. So excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, co-wash this, pre-wash it. Um, I got to get this out of my head because now I've gotten excited. 
So I'm gonna co wash it, see how it go. But it looks so pretty. Uh, I think I might cut some layers into it because it is just all one length, but I'm gonna see how I like it when I have it on. But it's very pretty. Uh, I'm very excited. Um, look at it, y'all. Like it's just so, it's very full. I, I mean, I expected it to be full, but then I, I didn't expect it to be full. So once I, you know, get it together, you know, I will show y'all, but love me here, period. I hope I don't regret saying that. By the way, um, I really wish this could, this could stop. Like, why am I 30 running around with white stuff around my lips? Like, I'm a fucking teeny bopper. I wish somebody would remedy this because... Okay, so just by co-washing it, um, just rubbing, rubbing, <laughs> just running my hands through it, this is the amount of shedding I got. Um, so it's not bad. Of course, it's a curly wig. Curly wigs are always going to shed, um, but that's not anything too crazy. I've just been running the uh, con conditioner through it with my hands. Um, it may be a different story when I take a brush to it, but for now, it's it's not bad, and it still feels really nice. So I'm gonna just co-wash it and then we'll move on from there. Okay, so I combed it out with my big comb. <laughs> it's not, a, I was gonna say wide tooth, but the teeth really aren't that wide. And this is what I got out, which like I said, is pretty freaking normal to me. I'm not a wig expert, but when I usually have curly wigs, you know, they do shed. So combined with what I had earlier, this is the total amount of shedding. There isn't really any tangling, but this is the total amount of shedding, which I still think is pretty good, but I don't know. You know, I ain't no wig expert, bitch. So, you know, if this is abnormal, please let me know so I can send it back, no, I'm playing. <laughs> All right, y'all, so my homegirls told me to watch Emily in Paris. Supposedly it's supposed to be good, but you know, I don't really be watching like TV shows. I usually watch movies. So we are gonna try Emily and Paris and see. It's definitely on Netflix. It has two seasons. So I'm gonna start on season one, episode one. Hopefully it's good. Fingers crossed, okay? Okay, y'all, so this show is actually kind of good. I'm so mad that her, you know, boyfriend decided that he wasn't going to come because he can't do long distance when, bitch, you already knew that I was moving to Paris for a year. My thing is, you didn't even try. You didn't even attempt to come out. You know how that messed up that is? This girl in a whole new country, and you can't come out there for a week, like you said, because you can't do long distance. These men really begin on my nerves, but this show is very good very messy but i will say they are very mean to her and i don't like it all right so it is 7 18 and i'm just about oops, 7 19 and i'm just about to make dinner so tonight i'm gonna do a cajun pasta so i'm gonna use sausage turkey sausage and shrimp in my pasta i'm so hungry y'all i haven't eaten all day i've just been snacking so i'm very excited to eat all right, guys, so I am finished. Here's the finished product. I use bow tie pasta. In there is spinach, shrimp, sausage, well, turkey sausage. Um, I did a little rotel dip, so I can have some tomatoes in there, but I wanted to have a little kick, a little spice, you know. And yeah, so I'm about to eat. All right, so I'm currently about to eat dinner, and I think I might take my hair down tonight, my quick weave, so I can put my wig on tomorrow, because um, I'm very excited about that wig, so. I may go ahead and do that. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna just wind it down for the night, clean the kitchen, straighten up before I go to bed, sit down, smoke some hookah, keep watching, um, what's her name? Uh, Emily and um, Emily and Paris. It's actually a really good show. So yeah, I think this is me tuning out for tonight, y'all. I might get back on here. I might, you know, show you some more razzle dazzle. But other than that, I'm out. Peace.